When we read the book of Revelation, it's definitely prophetic and it's definitely symbolic in so many instances. So that's why sometimes it's extremely difficult to understand this language of prophecy and symbolism. Very hard to understand it. Um, but we thank the Lord for the prophet Daniel and we thank the Lord for the, uh, for the, uh, for the Apostle John for explaining it in his entire book of Revelation uh, 17 sheds light on 13 and Daniel 7 and Daniel 8 shed lights on the book of Revelation chapter 13 and also St. Paul at a later stage my beloved uh, with throughout his epistles shedding light um, both on Revelation and also Daniel the Holy Bible is interwoven it's interlocking it's one unit it explains itself by itself but obviously it needs a lot of study it needs a lot of research it needs a lot of hard work to realize what the Lord Jesus or the Holy Spirit is trying to tell us through the prophets of the Old Testament and the apostles of the New Testament so now Revelation 13 1 talks about the beast that came out of the sea had how many heads seven how many horns ten now Daniel and then and then John the beloved says he was like a lion he was like a bear and like a leopard and he spoke and he had all the authority of the dragon so the dragon is Satan the beast is not Satan but he has the authority from Satan and then we said when we went to Daniel 7 when we went to Daniel 7 we realized that these heads are empires because Daniel in chapter 7 he sees four beasts coming out of the sea one like a lion like a bear like a leopard leopard and a terrible beast so the lion the bear and the leopard all of them are in revelation 13 1 beast and revelation 13 1 beast is the terrible beast that has also ten horns because the last terrible beast in Daniel 7 has ten horns as well but then a little horn comes out look at Daniel he is, he is telling us that these beasts are empires because Daniel chapter 2 chapter 8 chap chapter 5 and 8 they tell us precisely that these are empires well since one of the head is an empire then all of the heads are empires and he said it to Nebuchadnezzar he said the gold the lion is you the lion is you Babylonian Empire the bear who had the chest and the arms of silver is Medo-Persian Empire the leopard the Greek Empire this is all explained in Daniel you read Daniel 2 chapter 2 chapter 5 and chapter 8 he explains them all who is the lion who is the bear who is the leopard so when these lion bear leopards are all empires explained by Daniel well this lion bear and leopard is all in this beast with John the beloved saw in 13 1 coming out of the sea so this beast has seven heads therefore each head is an empire are you with me good so the Babylonian Empire followed by the Middle Persians followed by the Greeks then the Romans before the Babylonian was the Assyrian before the Assyrian was the Egyptian and after the Greeks the Roman Empire who is so John comes back again and he says five have fallen five have fallen who are the ones fallen Egyptian Assyrian Babylonian Medo-Persians and the Greeks 
at the time of John, these were already gone. One is at my time, I, John, who was ruling at the time of John around 100 AD? The Roman Empire, because they ruled from 200 BC to 467 AD. John was in 180 AD writing the book of Revelation. So Roman Empire is still is. That's why he said one is. Yes. And the seventh is yet to come. When he comes, the seventh will be slain. Out of this wound, the eighth will come out. I'm going to say it in simple English. The seventh will stay for a little long while and then he'll be slain. He'll be wounded. Out of that wound, the eighth head will come. But this eighth, he's saying in 17, 9 to 11, in, in Revelation 17, 9 to 11, he says, the eighth is also the seven. So the seven hasn't come yet. When he comes, he'll stay for a little while and then he'll be slain, he'll be wounded. Out of this wound, the eighth head will come. But the eighth that came out of the seven is also the seven. No difference. 